Mon Karma. Eminence Mon K of real time rendering has said that uh, ray tracing in real time will only be useful for games when it can CPUs are fast enough to shoot 100 rays per pixel or so to account for all the effects or path tracing or radiosity. There's lots of ways to do it. And it might be the GPU. Anyway, I thought I would make a little film in response to this nauseating and absurd assertion of Mr. Carmack's. And in this movie, for aesthetic reasons, there are not even any mirrors. Even though the mirror doesn't need any multiplication of rays beyond the original ray, it just needs it to bounce. Nevertheless, there are no mirrors. But there are many things in this film that would not be possible in a restaurant. And it is, in fact, crazy. In particular, we're spending lots of time inside this object with the tiny blob spheres, inside larger red spheroids made out of cubes, rotating thingies. Uh, because I particularly like interference effects. Now, it's true that you can get interference effects with a uh, rasterizer. Interference effects between textures, but not as a rule between pieces of geometry. Because typically in a rasterizer, the geometry isn't complex enough to alias with anything or with itself. This film shows a number of improvements that I have been lucky enough to share in the development of with the rest of the uh, Space Ham core dev team. In particular, the world mist is better now. And, um, you can see the way the, the red on the lobster pops against the green background as it gets further away in the red mist. Much of what you see will be familiar to you from previous films in this series. Some of you have seen them. And if not, I can't do anything about that now. Uh, here we have. Oh, look! Gee, I wonder if I could do this in a rasterizer. Colored mist. Oh, gee, it's only shooting one ray per. Well, pixel? What do I mean by pixel? Well, it's complicated. Um, red mist, blue mist. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Ah, and the red mist looks purple through the blue mist. Not like OpenGL fog, is it? This thing we're falling through is fractally structured, and it's like Alice gone the rabbit hole, so that's the impression I want to leave. 